Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming today to the Lunch and Learn on cupping. Um, have any of you heard of cupping or had it done personally? A couple of you? Yeah? All right. Does anyone recognize this picture? This is kind of what got it all started over again. This is actually a very um, old tradition, but Michael Phelps kind of brought it back to our time now. So he was mostly the main reason why people started talking about it, the reason why um, more cupping classes were um, available for massage therapists like Sheila and I who have both taken um, continuing education classes on it and just recently in early October started cupping in the spa. So we thought since it's something new that we are bringing to the spa that we do a lunch and learn on it. So, um, wrong way. So like I said, it's been around for many, many years. Um, it started centuries ago. They don't even know for sure who actually started it. They're thinking it was more in, the, in China. Um, but they used anything from gourds to seashells to bamboo uh, to even horns. And so what they did with the horns was is they would drill, like cut a little hole into the end of the small end of the horn put it onto the back, suck the air out, and then seal it up. So that's how they got the pressure there. And most of the time back then, it was more for medical purposes. Um, they would put it over boils, suck out poisons from snake bites or infections, things like that. So it was much more um, medical use um, back then, which is pretty, interest pretty interesting. Um, the next we wanted to go over was the types of cupping. So there's many different ways. So like back then they did the gourds, the seashells, the bamboo. Well nowadays it's more glass bulbs, plastic, silicone, or rubber. So um, this is just pictures of different um, ways they use it. So the glass bulbs are the ones with the flame, which are probably the most high risk because you can get risks of burning. Um, what they do is use like an alcohol solution, put it on the inside, they put that in, and then they suffocate it. And so that's how it's drawing the the skin up into the bulbs that way. Um, the top one here is they can be glass or plastic and what they do is basically it looks like a little toy gun with a hose to it and it pulls the air out that way so it pumps it out and suctions to them that way. So th I'm sorry, that's yeah. the one Michael Phelps. Yes, this is the yeah. one that was used for Michael Phelps also and um, both of those kinds um, they are where they're attached. You cannot move them around. Um, a lot of times they're used on acupressure points, points where there's tension or infection, things like that, inflammation types. Those are where those are usually attached to. Uh, the ones that we will be using, or that we do use, are the silicone ones, which is exactly what we have here. So we'll be passing these around just so you guys can see them, play with them a little bit. They're very flexible. The nice thing about the silicone ones is they're see-through. So we can see how the skin pulls up inside of them. The rubber ones, which I don't have a picture, they're usually a dark blue. They're a little rougher, harder to like push on. And so you couldn't tell how much skin you're suctioning up, how much tension you're pulling through there. So that's why the, these are kind of the most ideal, especially for massage therapists. So I can pass these out this way here too. Down this way if you guys wanna check them out. There's different sizes. So what that basically means you know, it depends on the body part. On the back, we'll want to use some of the bigger ones, but maybe on the neck or the front of the shoulder areas, <coughs> we'd use the little ones. And that's just so it'll stay suctioned. And um, some areas, like if you go over a curve of the body, it might just pop off. You just pop it back on, resuction it. Um, no big deal. It does usually glide better with oil, so that's why we use oils with it. You can just put them in one place without the oil though as well. So just kind of an introduction to what we're using here. Yeah, we didn't think, that, we'll go back to yeah. awesome. We didn't think the plant services would appreciate us having oil. Yeah. We didn't even ask. No. <laughs> we knew that one wasn't going to be an option. All right. So just kind of how they work. It's kind of like the reverse of massage. So instead of us pressing down, it's pulling. And by pulling, it's actually each layer 
your muscles, your tissue, your fascia. It's giving room between all of that space there. It's opening it up to let the blood flow through, the oxygen, and it's helping draw the toxins to the top of the skin. So that's the way it's doing it. Where with us, we're just pressing down, trying to push it out, working it out, doing trigger point to break up the knots and adhesions in your muscles. Um, so you will feel kind of a tight sensation when it's pulling on your skin when it moves around that's perfectly normal just if you ever get it done let your massage therapist massage therapist know if it is too much because it should still be relaxing and very soothing kind of experience for you also with these silicone ones that we use you can leave them stationary like they do with the glass bulb ones or the plastic ones but with these we can also move it around so we can do like pin and stretch so we can put it in a spot and then do movement with your arm to help stretch the muscle and break up that tissue as well. Or we can put it in a spot and have you do it, do the movements. So it can go both ways. So we have more to work with with these um, massage cups, so with the cupping. Um, so that's been really nice for us. We're still playing with it and really having fun and learning more every day about cupping. It's really exciting for us. So we've been like, the, uh, there's just so many ways we can use these and we're just excited we got them here so also the benefits similar to massage it can be relaxing help boost energy uh, helps relieve the tension and loosen up the buildup in the muscles and fascia it also stretches the muscles and connective tissue it draws circulation and fresh blood to the skin that have poor circulation and blood flow uh, clients actually say they feel a lot lighter afterwards because the it's just getting so much more oxygen flow through the body and it's also a lot easier on the massage therapist and the client because we're not doing as much deep tissue pressure because it's already breaking it up as well as so we're not working as hard and we're not having to do as much pressure on you guys so you're not feeling as sore after the experience so what cupping it's not like you come in and you get a 30 minute cupping yeah or you get a 60 minute cupping it's a massage <coughs> it's a tool yeah so we would apply the the oil first to get a good base feel the knots then start to use the cups and we'll show you on Brian too yep. how, how it works but then then we would um, do cupping for maybe five ten minutes park one of them then continue to work so we're still doing deep tissue work but the layers of tension have already gone, so it's a lot more efficient, too. Yes. And then it promotes ki, which is a life force energy that can be blocked. So just any energy that's blocked in your body. It can be from tension, from toxins, um, just stress, all of those things. Also, um, they even say, like Michael Phelps, people in like sports athletes who are very rigorous routines, and those muscles get so tight and tense and built up that the oxygen flow can't get through it there as well. So that's why it's so beneficial for um, athletes. Um, also strengthens the immune system by promoting the flow of lymphatic fluids. So it just helps get everything going. Um, something that we've seen a little bit on is, which um, we don't have the experience with it, but it helps reduce the cellulite. Like on, if you can push it to the lymphatic drainage sites, it can help reduce the look of cellulite like on the thighs or um, on the, the glutes, any of those areas. So that was something that was really interesting too that might be something that would be nice to look at for the spa type aspects too to add something. But right now we don't have that um, education on it. So it was just something interesting to look at. So benefits, all of these issues, and this is just like a common list for cupping. Um, sports injuries, neuromuscular conditions, musculoskeletal problems like pain, cramps, tightness, stiffness, headaches, sinus relief, TM, JD, um, adhesions and scar tissue, helps with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, insomnia, arthritis, cellulite reduction, lymphatic drainage, intestinal disorders, and chronic gastric pain, as well as vertigo, and bronchial asthma and congestion. It can be really good to like break up a cold, placing it um, in certain areas on the chest or in the back to help pull that out and open it up there too. So it's um, got so many benefits that we've been finding so far. So some people that say, oh, like I shouldn't get a massage or oh, I shouldn't get cupping done. But actually with 
if you have a cold and you don't have a fever, but then, of course, you don't want to spread it around to anybody, but actually it can help bring it out faster and get things loosened up. Because I even I've done um, a massage before, and I looked in the cups, and there was mucus. There was snot in the cups because it was coming up. From, yeah, I've yeah. had like a smoker, like it'll be dark oils coming out of like a smoker skin too. So different things and different things like that can be drawn out. Yeah. So that's so important to drink so much water after you get cupping into, of course, with massage as well, but doubly so with cupping. cupping. Mm-hmm. These are um, the contraindications, the things that we wouldn't be able to do cupping on. Um, blood diseases such as hemophilia and anemia, patients on blood thinners, dermatitis, and like some of these it would be local contraindications, local, like open wounds, uh, varicose veins, hernia, severe edema, and with edema you can go above it, just not below it. So you can try to open up like the lymphatic system but um, nothing below the edema there. Uh, congestive heart failure, failure, systemic inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, and just other infections. So this is on our, um, we do have a consent form for the spa that um, people have to fill out every time they come and make sure that none of these issues um, are, none of you have these issues if you come to it. So um, yeah. So like if you have varicose veins on your legs, that doesn't mean you can't have cupping. We can't just do cupping on your varicose veins. Right. Or if you have a cut, we're not gonna go over your cut. You know, we can still do cupping, but just not over the site of it. Mm -hmm. So cupping marks, they are not bruises. So that's always a misconception for the um, cups. Like the bruises, oh, does that hurt? You know, that was a very negative um, thing towards cupping when that became an issue with everyone thinking it was bruises. Um, the marks are from the result of certain pathological agents being released, like the toxins, um, any disease, stagnant blood, and energy that's blocked. So the longer that the blood is not moving, the thicker and darker it becomes, and blood without movement is no longer functioning as blood and becomes stagnant. So that stagnant, like if you had an injury and the muscle's tight and it just sat there and it's just sitting there and that's where your tension builds and builds and builds. That's kind of where that's talking about. If we put one of those cups on that sec section, you're gonna have a much darker spot as a to a, opposed to a place that didn't have very much tension or um, stagnant agents in there. So we thought we'd show you. Um, yeah. I've actually had this done myself and they don't get that dark, but two days I probably see like a little bit of, it doesn't look like a bruise, it's just the blood looks like it's been Closer yeah. To the surface. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For about two days, so it doesn't last long either. And it was only on the spots that were really needing a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They can last up to a week to ten days, depending on how severe. Um, but as most people, like Bree said, it's usually two to three days. And some people, it might be just the rest of the afternoon. It just depends how much buildup, how long we leave it there. The more you do it, the fainter they will get especially if it's like a, a chronic issue, you know, that you just started doing it and then we keep working with it, it would get a little bit lighter, you know, and the tension would feel a little less each time. So one thing too um, that we can do with the cupping is go right over the spine. <coughs> and one thing that you never do with massage is go over any bone. So especially the spine. So that's why it lifts it up instead of pushes it down. So then imagine how much oxygen you're getting along the spinal area just to increase circulation too. Mm -hmm. So last week, um, this last weekend I was at the volleyball game with my family and my da daughter's friends like, what is up with number six legs? That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she had cupping marks. My, my daughter's like, that's just cupping. That's <laughs> <laughs> but that's real cool to see, you know, a collegiate athlete using that as well. So I'm wondering if they have a team massage therapist or a physical yes. therapist or whoever. Do you? Yay. Yeah. 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 And about markings, everybody's different. I right. assume the dark is that, I assume as light is nothing. I think right. it depends on the muscle too, like you guys said, because mm -hmm. they use them there a lot. Good. Are they the Aren't silicone as well, Missy? What's that? Are they the silicone ones as well? They're the dark plastic? green, yeah. They're dark green clip silicone is what they use. Oh. Okay. This big. They only have like one size, and that's it, just the one size. Okay. And they use it everywhere. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. 
It is. It's cool. It is. So I know what we're using them a lot. Good. Yay. So this is like a close-up picture of like different reactions to cupping. Um, so healthy blood circulation there. There's a moderate stagnation, which is kind of more of like a, it looks a lot darker on this screen, but it's more of a, I don't know, like a mauve type, yeah. like kind of like maybe a medium. And then the severe was more of a darker red. The congestion and toxins, and you kind of see that sometimes in with that, like some people won't have the full circle, it'll just be speckled red. And so that's where it looks like that. Um, you can even have blisters or black patches depending on um, you know, like any blood stagnation that's built up in there, some stuff like that will occur if there's a lot of like moisture and, you know, excess dampness, that's where the blisters come in. And then, um, you know, like the pura pura, any blood that's just drawn to the surface there, if any blood vessels are broken or anything. And then the, the blood deficiency there. So these are just different. I have never seen black patches or blisters or pura pura yet not saying it, maybe someday it'll happen but i mostly see pretty much the top row is very common for what we've been doing anyway and some of that might come from the more of the glass bulb um, those are a little more intense um, where we can keep ours moving to kind of soften everything up and then find the spot we want to connect to so um, next we have a present <laughs> demonstration with brian pins <laughs> any questions also why we're doing this yeah. And you talked about all the congestion and sinus mucus. I feel like um, you're talking about the head area. Do you do this on your face? And um, it can be done on your face. I'm more of like bronchial. Like, you know, if you have like that is more, I guess, what we were talking about. But they do have um, very small ones for the face. And that can help like plump up collagen. It helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles. Um, can help get rid of the dark dark circles under the eyes, that kind of thing. So that was kind of another interesting one. Um, and that can help with sinuses as well. So um, there's just so many options out there. If we got those small ones, we could definitely do it on the face as well. Yes, Bree? I don't know if you went over this. Um, what's the cost? Um, well, at the spa, it's just the same as our massages. It's just part of the massage right now. So our massage for an hour is 60, and a half an hour is 35. So we, um, right now, it's just incorporated into the massage. If you, we kind of, when you come in the room, we just introduce it to you. And if you would like to um, be, try it, we have you fill out the consent form right then and there. And then we sign it with you. And each time after that, you will um, have to sign one every time just to make sure. So, yes. So most of the time, you, have, you almost have to use oil for the massage. You can place it beforehand if you just want to. You can set it there and then tw twist it, kind of, and so it's pulling the muscles to stretch it in different directions. So that is an option, but um, for us, it's most most uh, efficient if we put the oil on. Yeah, I can take those. I got a couple over here. So, and what's great about these two, we just um, use. Uh, Dawn soap to wash out the oils and then we do this, the wipes to sanitize them. So they're very easy to clean. Um, we clean them like that after each use and so they're ready to go really easy right afterwards. Okay, Brian. So I talked to Brian beforehand and he says on his right side here he's got a, a spot right here with some tension from holding his son. So of course with massage I would I address that area but now I know right away too that I'm going to be able to put a cup on there because he filled out the the release form and he's good to go. So say, just like always we start with a massage. I would have a warm towel but you get my cold hands. Oops. Okay, so with massage, you can already tell how pink his back is getting just from circulation. But then we'll start using the cups and then keep note too of 
the change in color. So Brian, at any time, if you want more or less pressure with the cup, just let me know. I just suction it on. And how we suction is we hold the ends of the cup, the bottom like this, press down, and then it suctions on. And if someone's like, oh, that's a little too much, all we do is kind of just lift the okay? and it pops out okay. kind of like a little bit of air pops out of there each time. So it's very easy to let air out or add more suction. So go ahead and tell them about, um, well, actually, when we always go up towards the heart or towards the lymph and then you always want to zigzag back down again, not to do anything with the circulatory system and the vessels. So you want to be kind to them. The back is pretty, you can pretty much go any direction on the back. You okay. It's the arms, the legs, you always want to go towards the heart and zigzag away so you're not drawing the fluids. You're going towards the heart, pushing the fluids towards the heart. So there I just went right over the spine. So this is where so many people too, right along the shoulder blades. So you can curve it right along. And how does that feel, Brian? All right. <laughs> so then I'll just, and they pop off, then you just put it right back on. So I'm gonna find that spot. And see if you can see how the skin is drawn up in there and it's red like that. It, so the more suction, the higher up the skin is gonna be. So sometimes it can be like almost touching which is probably a little too intense. For is that too intense to park it? No. Okay. And so when we find a spot, we'll park, like she said, we'll just park it there and then grab another cup and keep moving along with it. And then if we find another spot, we can park another one. I mean, we can put all, we have eight cups, we can put all of them on your back at one time. It's, it doesn't matter how many you put on there. Um, but look how ready is getting too, just from that. It really brings the circulation up. So if someone's got some shoulder issues, this is what Jody was talking about, you could put some on and do a pin and stretch. Is that too tight, Brian? No. Okay. So now if you don't mind, or actually I can just assist you, so just relax, I've got you. And then just do some shoulder movement with them. And so it's holding those muscles in place while, so it's still stretching out but holding it there so she doesn't have to have her hand there and do it and a lot of times if you put you could put one on the front on the top on the back of the shoulder there you could put you know five or six of them and just have them rotate their arm around just get all range of motion in there and then it's hitting all of those muscles the anterior the pecs the traps um you know any of those muscles the rhomboids all of those are getting touched all at the same time and all he has to do is rotate his shoulder so did, it's very minimal. Did that hurt, Brian? No. Nick? It looks like it would just hurt terrible. Yeah, it's, it's actually very relaxing for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you do it too much? I mean, is there a... Um, you cannot, you need to wait until your marks are cleared before you can have another session. So um, if it only takes a couple days, then that's okay. So can you tell where he's got more tension? Mm-hmm. The marks don't lie. Right? The marks don't lie. Don't. And they do start to lighten up a little bit, but he will definitely have marks. Well, you're a good model, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing, too, before, if, do you mind if I say you didn't have hair? Okay. Because one thing, you can't have a lot of hair. Otherwise, they pop right off. So that was one of the disclaimers we had to make sure. I was yeah. <laughs> That's right. So, and definitely you can go, we can use them on the arms. You can use them on a few areas. You don't want to use them is like the mid, the diamond section here on the lumbosacral area, just not right there with all the nerves and can be very tender. Um, you know, on your like major organs and things. You can go over the stomach though, but we just don't do that here just for safety reasons, but you can go, um, they did show us kind of like a clockwise following your colon. You can do that. Um, I 
right? Yeah. I know, they're actually, they're on Amazon for like, not very much, I don't even know. I felt like after the cupping too, when, she, when you guys did do the massage after that, the massage even just felt mm -hmm. a lot, I mean, just felt just a lot of people say they weren't as sore. Right. Like when we go in to go a little bit deeper, we were going deeper, but you weren't noticing that mm -hmm. tight tension there right away, right off the bat, because it wasn't, it was looser. The tissues were more open. Okay, Brian, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, you. We should take a picture for you, Brian. Here. You're gonna have to watch. Just have to watch it. Well, did you sign? Did you say you could take a picture? Oh. You did. Did you like me to witness? I actually watched. Yeah. So this one, so this one here, I wonder what, because there's some white too. Yeah. So I wonder. It does kind of look like a target, doesn't it? It does. It does. So maybe, because that was the smallest one, if I had some pinched off more than others. But yeah, you were, you need you to had, come in and get some cupping done, Brian. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you need a massage. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I had one person say that they got this done and um, they said they went home and they didn't tell their spouse that they did it and their spouse, home, they're like, what happened to you? And all they said was, Jody. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> I'm like, it was my fault, but yeah. So it is definitely does leave marks, and but they do go away. So definitely, if you're planning on like, uh, you know, vacations, weddings, things like that, don't do this at least a week before. You know, wait at least a week before to do something like that. If you have something where you want to look nice for, so not just show all the circles. <laughs> yes. Any other questions? Thank you, Brian. <laughs> so since Brian's such a heavy smoker, did it turn off? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't see anything really in there. Because some people with dry skin, a lot of the skin will come up with it too. So, so is there a danger of people being like, oh, I'm going to buy cups and just do it myself? What would be the... I mean, I'm just saying people might be like, oh, I should get some of those online. Right. <laughs> Like Melinda. <laughs> like, yeah. You could. I mean, they are out there available on it, like Amazon or things like that. There's some things you could do that would be bad. Just the yeah. contraindications would be the biggest thing. And just make sure you go the right direction. Yeah, towards the, well, towards the heart. Towards the heart. And then also, otherwise, um, yeah, just to make sure you don't leave them on for too, too long. Yeah, 10 minutes tops. Well, I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. For a friend, there, there is actually, yeah, you can have some very severe. Um, I didn't put those. I guess there are some pictures if you Google <laughs> cupping um, images. There's some pretty scary ones out there cupping where, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cupping gone wrong. Yeah. Exactly what you need and be able to really help you a lot faster than maybe yourself. Feels better when somebody else does it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Sheila and I do both have our own sets of cups, and I know when I'm at home and my shoulders hurt, I just pop them on my shoulders while I'm sitting on the couch and like, okay, I'm gonna move it to this spot and just keep moving them around and do it to myself. So yeah. now last week Jody did it to me and I'm like, Oh yeah, look, I got the cool marks. <laughs> 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 I know, because we don't really get to do the full effect on ourselves, you know, unless we try to like squeeze in to get an appointment with each other, which mm -hmm. if any of you come to the spas, it's not as easy as people think. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. That was the end, the demonstration. And yes.